Hey guys, welcome back to Purely Walking and welcome back to Paradise. I am here in my lovely Dominican Republic and I am here to show you a beach that you possibly never heard of before. And if you have been feeling like you're in need of a little bit of self-love or the sun's race in your face or a little bit of sand and nature and ocean, then this is your reminder to come to Dominican Republic and check out this beach and this area overall. So this is Playa Rincón in Samana, but it's not a very touristy beach. So I'm here to tell you all about it and show you around. So let's go. Playa Rincón is truly special because it has been dubbed one of the most beautiful beaches in the Dominican Republic and even one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. The truly special part about it, apart from its obvious beauty, is the fact that there is a little river at the end that actually conjoins to the ocean. So if you haven't been able to ever see in your life what a river looks like when it meets the ocean waters, this is a perfect place to do it. And since it is located way, way after touristy places like Las Terrenas and things like that, it's not very frequented, so it's never truly crowded. Like right now, I'm actually in a long weekend, so it's a holiday weekend here in the Dominican Republic. And even so, there's not a lot of people here. You get to enjoy the place without, you know, a hectic amount of people. So let me go and show you around Playa Rincón show you the paradise that this is and what you can find here on the beach. So happy that we are almost at 6,000 subscribers. So thank you all so much for being here, for subscribing and commenting. I read and I know that you know that I read your comments because I try to answer mostly all of them. So if you haven't already, please join the family and help my channel and this community grow. Go ahead, subscribe, it's free and I'll be waiting. And what beach would be complete without food options? Well, obviously you have food options here in Playa Rincón. The difference is that here, since this area of Samana is not as industrialized as some other areas that are much more well known, what you will find here is a little bit of Dominican local charm. So you have informal little huts set up and there are different people working to in their little food stands, everybody together, but they have their different businesses as well. The little tables are wooden and look very handmade. So everything is very cultural, very local, very um, down to earth. So you're not going to get luxury, but you are going to get a completely genuine Dominican experience.
this is Caño Frío, the small river that ends up here in Playa Rincón. Caño Frío in Spanish is a phrase that alludes to cold water basically pouring out of somewhere. So it alludes to coldness. So I'm going to check the water for you guys and tell you exactly how cold it is. And um, I don't know, wish me luck. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell you it is ice cold. Um, and I'm not going to get all the way in because, you know, I, got, I love you guys, but not that much, you know. So... <laughs> <laughs> um, it is very cold, but once you are in, you get very used to it and it feels actually kind of good, like a massage kind of thing. And as far as I can tell from the people that are all the way into the river, it's not that deep. So maybe waist deep if you go all the way down there. And there is a beautiful scenery down there. I don't know if you can see, but you can go swimming all the way over there and check out the beautiful greenery and the trees that are over there as well. wondering what it's like to come here to Playa Rincón because it is such a secluded beach well you're in for a treat because the road is completely paved all the way up to the beach and when you get here you are greeted by a wonderful policeman to direct you and tell you where everything is so if you head to the right as soon as you come in you can see the beach and the ocean and there's a cute little restaurant over there and if you go to the left you get to see the little river Caño Frío and if you go to the left, you get to see the little river Caño Frío, which we're going to see in a few minutes. So it is a very, very nice, even though it is secluded and it's not a lot of people, it's not a crowded beach. There is everything, the infrastructure is all set for you to come here on a normal everyday vehicle and enjoy your stay. So as you can tell, there's a lot of kids here because there is a natural kiddie pool. This part of the ocean, of the river is not that deep. So it gets a little bit more shallow as we get near the ocean. So I'm gonna actually show you if you've ever wondered what it looks like when a river meets the ocean. Let's check it out right now because this is the very end of Caño Frio River. Right here, there's basically no current, but as you can see, when we approach the ocean, it gets to be a little small current over there. I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of sargassum on this side accumulated. It doesn't smell bad or anything, um, but there is a little bit of sargassum right here. Nothing to worry, the water is completely clear. And you can tell that the river water goes all the way into the ocean. So that is pretty nice. So 
So right now I am in the middle of two waters. This is river water and it meets the ocean water right over there. So I am right in the middle of the two. And as the river ends, so does this video, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this small tour of Playa Rincón and I hope you are encouraged to come and enjoy the pleasures of the Dominican Republic in a place other than the ones that are more commonly well known and that you get to um, support the local businesses and the local communities in a place such as this beautiful treasure that is Playa Rincón. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more videos in this area and showing you other little beaches that are amazing as well, as well as the villa that I will be staying in and reviewing that for you. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, comment your thoughts down below what you thought of this beach if you visited it or if you heard about it. And this is me signing out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Yo te la